Shallow Fishies, I'm Mermaid Liv, and today we are celebrating women everywhere! So today is International Women's Day. To commemorate this day, I'm going to be dressing up as Rosie the Riveter, as a mermaid. I'm going to take you along for that journey, teach you how you too can dress up as Rosie the Riveter. And then later in the video, I'm going to be talking about some influential mermaids in the mermaid community, some mermaid goddesses, and I'm going to share a couple of good organizations with you that you can consider donating to to make a difference in the world. Don't know why you say goodbye, I say hello. First off, who is Rosie the Riveter? Well, if you don't know, she's a cultural icon who represents the American women who worked in factories and shipyards during World War II, many of whom were previously stay-at-home wives and mothers. The image of Rosie the Riveter that is most well known today is a poster created by artist J. Howard Miller in 1943, which features a woman with a determined expression and a red polka dot bandana tied around her head. She's known for rolling up her sleeve and flexing her arm with the text, WE CAN DO IT, above her. So I'm gonna recreate that poster, starting now. The first thing you're gonna need for a Rosie the Riveter look is a bandana. Now, she wears a red bandana with white polka dots, but I didn't have one, so I think any bandana will get the message across. It's not the bandana that makes her so distinct. Any bandana is really okay. I've got this one, it is reddish pink color, which is appropriate. You know, it's got like, almost red and white on it, so it's kind of like close enough. And then Rosie the Riveter wears a bluish like denim looking jumpsuit and I have this blue denim button up that I think will do the trick. So this is perfect and I'm gonna wear my red fin fun mermaid tail because red kind of goes along with the theme of her outfit. Let's go! So with the bandana we're gonna just kind of like roll it up basically and then Tie it around your head. Now she has her hair pulled back into, I don't know, a bun or a ponytail. I don't have enough hair to do that, so I'll go like that. Put this shirt on. Button it up. So oh, this makes me feel really empowered. <laughs> I love Rosie. <laughs> International Women's Day is also about intersectional feminism, which is basically feminism that also takes into account other cultures and women of different races and around the world. So that's very important because women everywhere have helped shape the world. So I'm just gonna, this sleeve's already rolled up because that's how I wear these shirts, but this one came undone. Just gonna roll that up. Oh, but the only thing is she rolls it up even more. Okay, so I'm gonna unbutton this so I can actually show my bicep, my huge bicep. <laughs> Just kidding, it's not that big. But... <sighs> oh my god, this is awesome. Like... <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna do the photo shoot outside. Let me go get my tail. It's actually a really pretty day and I think the lighting is pretty good. It's not too bright. It's not cloudy. So this looks like a good spot. And if you're curious about this tail, it is by Finfun. I actually just did a review on Finfun tail, so go check that out after this video, that is. <laughs> Let's do it. Women are strong and powerful. Shell yet. Yeah. All right, now I'm gonna do some videos and photos and I'll show you how those turned out. I'll share the graphic that I make for the poster picture after this. And then I will talk about some influential mermaids in this community along with some mermaid goddesses. And then after that, I'm gonna share some important resources of organizations that help women. Uh, it's taken me a couple tries to get it right. Harvey's hanging out with me. Harvey, do you love women? Are you celebrating women with us? <laughs> wow, Harvey. That's beautiful. He's the wisest dog I've ever met. Let's try it from a different angle. So she's kind of like got her back turned and then she's got a very intense look on her face. On the collar we've seen. Ew! Oh no! We don't love that. 
Alright, well that was fun. So next for the educational part of the video. Alright class, listen up. Today I'm going to be talking about some mermaid goddesses. The first goddess I'm going to be talking about is a Greek goddess named Amphitrite. She was the Greek goddess of the sea and the wife of Poseidon, often depicted as a mermaid. Next we have Sedna of Inuit mythology. She is the goddess of the sea and sea animals, often depicted as a mermaid. Then there's the OG mermaid goddess, Ada Goddess, a Syrian goddess of fertility and the sea, who was often depicted as a mermaid, and she was one of the first mermaid figures to come about. In Hindu mythology, the goddess Ganja is often depicted as a mermaid. She's associated with the sacred river Ganges. She's also considered the goddess of purity and apparently has powers to cleanse and grant spiritual liberation. Sounds nice. Now a prominent Caribbean figure, also a mermaid, is Yamaya. And if you're in the mermaid community, I'm sure you've heard of her before. She is a part of the Afro-Caribbean religion of Santeria and is believed to be goddess of the sea and protector of women. In some Native American legends, there are mermaid goddesses who were believed to inhabit the waters and also assist humans in times of danger and distress. So those are just some of the mermaid goddesses I'm sharing with you today. There's probably actually a lot more that you could learn about. It's very fascinating. But next I'm going to be telling you about some mermaids who aren't just mythological. These are real mermaids. Women in the mermaid community who have paved the way for professional mermaids and just mermaids all around the world. I'm sure you're going to recognize some of these amazing women if you're a part of the mermaid community. I just think these are some inspiring mermaids who are worth mentioning. First I'm going to talk about Mermaid Linden. Mermaid Linden is a professional mermaid and ocean conservationist and a children's book author. She aims to promote positive messages about self-esteem and spread awareness for the growing concerns of the ocean's pollution. Next, I'm going to talk about Mermaid Cariel. She's another professional mermaid and children's book author. She also makes gorgeous, realistic mermaid tales. She's made significant contributions to the mermaid community and for ocean conservation. She hosts beach cleanups and has educational programs. She's also known as an edutainer. The next mermaid I'm going to be talking about is Mermaid Shay Monique, who is a good friend of mine who I just got to see at Mermagicon. Check out the vlog for that video. She's done some great things for the mermaid community. She started the Society of Fat Mermaids, which promotes body positivity and inclusivity, and they're just a great group. She also started the movement and hashtag Merfolk for Black Lives, which aims to raise awareness about racial inequality and injustice. This hashtag gained traction following the murder of George Floyd and other black civilians who were killed due to police brutality. So yeah, Mermaid Chain Monique is just another super influential mermaid who is a part of this community and I look up to her greatly. The next mermaid I'm going to talk about is Nautilus Sea Nymph on Instagram. And I think she's had a very positive impact on the community. She is a champion for the LGBTQ community. She's the first openly trans mermaid that I'm aware of, and she definitely helps raise awareness for transgender individuals. And she promotes anti-racism and anti-sexism and all kinds of good things, and of course she's also an ocean conservationist. I like most mermaids are. I have great respect for her. The next mermaid I'm going to talk about is Mermaid L. Very inspired by her. I love her content. She's big on Instagram. She's a professional mermaid. She's done all kinds of cool things. She's a real like boss babe kind of mermaid. You know, she's got a kid, but she's also got this whole like business and does all this cool mermaid stuff that I'm so envious of her life. I hope I can be at that level one day. <laughs> Psst, subscribe to my channel so you can help me get there. All right, there are so many amazing women in the mermaid community, but those are all the ones I'm highlighting today. I'm gonna put links to their Instagrams in the description, so go follow them to show some support. And to conclude this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a couple of organizations that fight for women's equality. First, we've got the Women's International League for Peace and Freedom. This is a global organization that advocates for women's rights and works to promote peace and nonviolence. Next, I'm going to be talking about the National Organization for Women, an organization that advocates for women's rights and works to eliminate gender-based discrimination and violence. Next, I'm going to talk about the Malala Fund. Malala Yousafzai is super inspiring to me. She was shot by the Taliban just for wanting to get an education. So now, she runs the nonprofit organization, the Malala Fund, which advocates for girls' education and invests in education programs for girls in developing countries. 
Another really important organization that helps with little girls is Girls Not Brides. And they are a global partnership that works to end child marriage and promote the rights of girls all around the world. Next, I'm going to mention Women for Women International. This charity provides resources and support to women survivors of war and conflict, helping them rebuild their lives and communities. The last organization I'm going to mention is Planned Parenthood. Now, they not only help women, but they help non-binary people and trans people, men, they really help everyone. They do testing for STDs at a much lower cost. They fight for reproductive justice, and if you want to know more about that, check out my How Mermaids Make Babies video, which talks a little bit about human reproduction as well and the importance of legal access to abortion. So consider celebrating women by donating to one of those organizations. I do make monthly donations to Planned Parenthood, and following the overturning of Roe v. Wade, I released some t-shirt designs in my mermaid shop, shop at mermaidslifeforme.com. Here are some of the designs. A portion of the proceeds for those designs go towards Planned Parenthood. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching everyone. Please like and subscribe and have an amazing International Women's Day. Never forget how far women have had to come since the beginning of mankind. Let's celebrate and uplift women every day. Bye bye everyone!